Hi there, my name is Latrina, and a few days ago you spoke with my son Chris, who offered to send you this free video showing you some things you can do to boost your business. I know in that conversation you mentioned that you already have somebody that helps you and you only have a year. Um, I don't know what that means, but this information can be used um, by anyone. You can take this to whoever is helping you with your website um, because there's definitely some room for improvement based off of the research that I've done. Um, so regardless, just understand that this is free. Um, we're not selling you anything. We are making these videos in our free time for business owners to help them to bring value and service to our community as a whole. Um, so please take a look and use it as you see fit. Um, but feedback would be greatly appreciated. Please let us know that you watched it and if it was helpful or not so that we can continue to improve our, our web, um, our videos. Okay. So what I'm going to cover briefly is content backlinks and citations and why these are important website elements for you. I'll take a look at your company's online presence and make any recommendations that I see that could improve your business. So content is anything on the websites. It's the words, the images, the videos, right? You want to have at least 1,500 words on the home page and at least 500 on your back pages. And this is a, going to allow Google to spend time on your website, grabbing the content, grabbing those keywords to describe exactly what it is you do so that they can show, share your information when people are searching for your services. Citations are listings and directories like Google, Yellow Pages, Yelp, etc. Excuse me, it's your business name, your address, and your phone number. Um, it looks something like this here as an example. You want to have as many of these as you can get throughout the internet and even more than your competition. Getting these citations will help you to outrank your competition, okay? Then backlinks are the placement of your website onto other website addresses. For example, if you're on Facebook, Yelp, LinkedIn, any of these, these backlinks will redirect traffic to your website. And the more backlinks you have, the more popular your website becomes. In fact, to Google, um, the more backlinks you have, the more trustworthy you are. So you want to make sure you get as many backlinks as you can, but make sure they are relevant to what it is you do, okay? Not all backlinks are created equal, so you want to make sure that your backlinks are related to the service area um, that you're in, not random like auto body detailing, for example, or landscaping if that's not what you do. So I'm going to come back to your website. Let's jump into Google briefly. So in Google, you know how to use Google, right? You search for your keywords, what you're looking for, and the location. So in this case, search for home remodeling contractors of Vienna, Virginia. As usual, there are ads that pop up at the top. Sometimes they're at the bottom. The thing to note about ads is sometimes people won't see them because they have ad blockers. The prime real estate area is this area here called the map pack. And this is where Google lists who they perceive to be the top ranking businesses. Now, I'm going to point out something really important because this does not happen very often. So as you look at these three, this third one here does not have a website, which means they are not optimized for Google, which means they are considered low hanging fruit, which means further that it would be easy for you to outrank them and take their slot here in the map pack. And why is that important? Because a lot of traffic happens here in this area, okay? As we move further down the page, Google continues to rank businesses in order of popularity and other factors, content, backlinks, and citations play a huge role in that. Um, ideally, your page, your website should be listed on the first few pages. As you move further away from that, less activity takes place here, less visibility for your business. So shoot for pages one through three if possible. And ideally, and I've shown you there's a loophole here, get your business listed here in the map pack. Now taking a look at your website, it's very um, organized, um, very easy to look at and see details what it is you're doing. What I would recommend, you do have a call me number here. I would also recommend a contact us form, a little one, on your first top half of your page somewhere, um, collecting name, phone number, and email so that if you miss calls, you'll have some hot leads that you are getting every day um, or you know, how often people are traveling to your website. But if you do the things that I mentioned, you will increase your traffic significantly, okay? 
Um, the other thing I'm going to mention is that you need more content on your homepage. You're lacking 1,500 words to 2,000 on the homepage, at least 500 on your back pages. That seems like a lot, but it's not to Google. To Google, that's enough to keep them coming to your website and to be able to grab the keywords that highlight what it is you do. Exterior home improvement, um, interior and exterior painting, media blasting, insurance restoration, home remodeling. These are things that you want to highlight um, so that people know what it is you do. If we come to your website right now on a scale of 1 to 100, um, these, this is your data. You're 1.2 right now. You do have backlinks. That's great. At one time, however, you had 3.2 thousand. You're down to 71. So you definitely want to keep adding these. A lot of business owners don't realize that these backlinks over time fade off. Um, that's because the internet is always being added with new content, right? So you should be adding more content as well on the internet. Same thing with your referring domains and citations. At one time you had 104, you're down to 17. Remember, these are measurements of trustworthiness and legitimacy, okay, to Google. So you always want to make sure that these numbers are looking good in your favor. Right now you have traffic of eight people a day but you're doing better than your competitor. That's You can significantly increase this if you add more content and highlight those keywords. Um, and especially, you can see here, this Mayflower company is listed in the map pack, but they're not even optimized for Google. They're not even ranking very well. So you, um, if you add content, optimize your website, do to, you know take some time to build it out some more, you can certainly um, outrank them and find your business listed here in the map pack. 30 to 40% of the clicking takes place here. So it would be worth the effort. With that, um, I know you said that this was a w would be a waste of our time, but we don't feel that way. Whether or not um, you use us or use someone else, that doesn't matter. The, the, the education and being informative is what we're aiming to be. So hopefully you found something helpful in this video. Please let us know that you watched it. Please let us know if it was helpful or not. And if you have questions about anything, or your staff have questions for us, feel free to shoot those to us and we can clarify whatever we've covered in here because our videos are intended to be informative, not confusing. With that, I'm going to leave you. I think there was one other thing. Oh, here's another pointer. Um, since I have time, I think I have time. Um, when you save your images, save them with a name that describes what it is people are looking at. So in this case, don't just save it as home house. That means nothing to Google. That will mean nothing to anyone else who comes here, right? What is it about this house you're trying to highlight? Is it the exterior painting? Definitely name it that then. Name it exterior painting and um, where are you again? Vienna, Virginia, okay? Exterior painting, Vienna, Virginia. Do that for all of your images because that allows you to get additional keywords. Google searches not only the content, like the words that are here on the page front of the viewers, but they also look at your file names and they count as well as keywords, okay? So yeah, I wanted to get that in there. So I'm going to end it here. Have a great weekend. Thank you for your time. And I wish you much continued success and prosperity for Construction Systems of Virginia. Take care.